We appreciate you coming this morning and uh, thank you. Uh, I am here to give you a report from the senior, the pastor's search committee. I know it's been a while. Things have been going on in the background. A lot of people have had a lot of questions, so I'm going to kind of bring you up to speed on where we are. Uh, as you know, our pastor left, but he didn't leave uh, until recently. Seems recently. What's it been? Uh, four weeks? Four weeks? No, eight weeks, right? Well, the pastor's search committee has been searching, and we've been looking at folks. We advertised the job back in the fall, but we knew we weren't going to be filling the job until after Pastor Ron left. And we've been talking with folks. Uh, we've had some people come down and take a look at the church. And as we've talked with them, well, there was a consistent story that they have, were telling us that they, as we've been in con a conversation with these gentlemen and their families as, they, as they've come down and looked. And one of the things they said, what a marvelous church plant you have all the facilities that you have. And they marvel at the fact that there's basically no debt on this church. Praise God that we have all of these facilities here. But this is a big place. There's a lot going on here, a lot of ministries going on here. And they look at Myrtle Grove as a big job. And some of the people that we've brought down have been from small places. And they have seen this as a big, Oh, your mic, your mic is off. My mic is off. <laughs> but you can hear me anyway? Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you hear me now. <laughs> can you imagine what it's like around my house? Can you imagine what? what Jean Ann has had to put up with for almost 38 years. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, thanks, yeah. Uh, see, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so you've heard what I've been saying. It's, it's the big job. But one of the things that we've been talking about is where we had wanted to be was below what the expectation was for some of these men that we've been talking to. And our theme has always been, as we've said to you, God's man in God's time. Well, what God has been telling us through these men in these conversations is they haven't been the right man. Okay? And that's all that it is. And sometimes it's those men telling us that I'm not the right man for your church, for Myrtle Grove. And sometimes it's the committee sensing that they're not the right person for Myrtle Grove. And it kind of goes both ways, right? That's the way you would expect it to be. Well, as this time has gone on and we've discerned this, uh, the search committee got together with the personnel committee, got together with the finance committee, got some input from associational people, and we've really looked at where we were, and at the same time, uh, Brother Walt, God moved him to another church. So some circumstances have happened where the church, we really felt like we were able to change the package, compensation package, that we were looking at offering our new pastor. So the circumstances under which we were conducting our search have changed. Okay? And so it was the feeling of the pastor search committee that because of those circumstances that we were going to kick off, that we were going to look for another group of men. So this past week, we have contacted the men who were still on our list that we were still working with and let them know that this was going on. But we have also re-advertised the position of senior pastor of Myrtle Grove Baptist Church under the new circumstances since so much has changed since so the last time we advertised, which was way back in September. So things have changed. So where we are really is where most churches are. Our pastor has just left, and we've just now advertised. So really, when you think about it, we've had that long period, but 
that long period was very unusual because our pastor was here for a year. So right now, where we're most churches are, okay, so we've, our pastor has been gone a little while, but now we're looking for this senior pastor. And what has happened is we looked at where, the, where senior pastors are telling us that they are, and we're able to accommodate that. So your search committee is in constant prayer and deliberation and discernment because we are looking for God's man in God's time. We know that you're behind that endeavor, what we're trying to do. We know that you're praying for it. We know that you're not out there saying, just get anybody. Because you don't want us to lower our standards and just find somebody to come and just be the pastor here, just to have somebody. We surveyed you. We know what you wanted us to do, and we're looking for that person. God Almighty has picked that person out. We don't know who that is yet. God does. That man doesn't know who he is yet. Okay? So we're going to find him. God is going to lead us to him. God is going to let him discover us. We're going to discover him, and it's going to be joyful. And we're going to have a celebration when he and his family are installed here. And it's going to be wonderful, and you're going to be a part of it. Amen? Are you excited about it? Okay? You'll be real excited when it happens, right? Okay? Raise your hand if you'll commit to me that you're looking, that you're praying for us to have God's man and God's time. Raise your hand if that's your goal. <coughs> Is that everybody? Is that everybody? Everybody that can? Okay. So I know you're supporting us. There's two hands. Jerry gets double credit. Okay, I'll tell Jesus you get double. Okay? I won't forget, okay? So that's where we are. If you have any questions, you can call me anytime. We've advertised my phone number. I'm happy to talk with you. Listen to your suggestions. I'm around quite a bit. Uh, you can also email me, Myrtle Grove Pastor Search at Gmail. Be happy to answer any questions that you have. Happy to come talk to your Sunday school class, any group that you want. I'll be happy to come talk to you about what we're doing, how we're doing it. But I'm excited about what God's doing here. But you know what I'm excited about also? I'm excited about the kingdom work of Jesus Christ is going on at this church, even though our pastors, even though we don't have a pastor. The word of God is going to be preached in this pulpit today. People are going to be thinking about Jesus Christ. The story of Jesus Christ, the Savior, is going to be in this church today. You're going to be praying to do God's work today. And this week, you're going to be sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, even though we don't have a senior pastor. Amen? Amen. All right? We don't have to have that senior pastor. It would be great when we do. But because we are a child of the king, that doesn't change, right? So amen. Thank you for your patience. And if you have any questions, let us know. But that's where we are, okay? Now I'm supposed to walk over here and find another song to sing. I can't think of what it is, so I have to go over here and look. But now I got my microphone. I'm all ready. All right, so let's see. Oh, it's the choir's turn, so I'm going to walk over here and sit, because I have to sing with the choir now. Make a smooth transition. Pretend you didn't hear this. Turn my mic off.